Hello everybody, my name is Tanya and you're on Frag Addiction channel and if you're interested uh, to find out my top 10 beast mode night out clubbing fragrances for men, stay tuned and don't forget to like this video and maybe subscribe if you're not. And if you don't like this list, please list your own down below in the comment section. It will be so much fun to read all the comments. That's what I do usually. All of the list is tested out. They're massive projectors. You'll be smelled from far away. And at the same times, they're not boring and don't smell um, don't don't try to smell the sprayed part of your body or clothes right away with most of these you can get nose bitten definitely maybe wait 15 or 20 minutes and then spray uh, smell it up close before that only from far away i have to say the honorary mention my favorite parfums de marley and it's not the favorite cup of tea of most of people. I'll leave a link up here and down below in the description for the review to Pegasus. This is, um, this is a fragrance, um, how I imagine a rave party. It is unhinged, bitter, poisonous, poisonous almonds and muddy, dirty patchouli mixed up with fresh patchouli together. It has a lot of sandalwood in it. It's a powder bomb. Number 10, by the way, is also a love-hate for most people. It's really on trend now. That's why I have to mention it. mention it right now. It is Sauvage Elixir. I think everybody on this planet and the dogs heard about it already. <laughs> this one is a legend nowadays and it's too popular uh, for now. That um, That's why I actually put it on number 10. Massive beast. <sighs> it has such a natural lavender. Um, in it, very smooth lavender, but so much ambroxan and quite a lot of uh, bergamot that some people just can't handle it. Some people despise it because of its power. Number nine, side effect by Initio. It is insane, wild in character, very boozy. I would say even not just boozy, it's almost drunk. Like, <sighs> sometimes it doesn't even smell good. It's so bitter and untamed and uh, very spicy. Spicy leather. The opening, in fact, is very unpleasant now. <sighs> It smells, it smells very alcohol infused. Maybe some, some people will actually smell the alcohol in it. Yeah, uh, but some are absolutely crazy. In fact, for me, this is not my nightmare th scent, but it turns it into smooth caramel and cinnamon and luscious vanilla in about 30 minutes after the first initial spray. And I still, I melt. It becomes delicious after that. Number eight. It is Bocanera by Orto Parisi. This is sexy big time. And all the people around are going to feel the drained static electricity all around you. It is dirty, musky, chocolate patchouli and alcohol, very smooth and persistent. 
very interesting. It has a lot of animalics in it besides musk. It also has oud, definitely. Smoky. This, I smell smoky chocolate now. On start. Oh, and it's so delicious. For some people, this oud note and the muskiness could be repulsive, but not for me. That's why it's number eight only. <laughs> number seven, Ojan, also by Perfums de Marly. I'd say this is a predecessor of Angel Share. Angel Share could be here on the list, but I mean, sometimes it's... Um, massive beast and it is a massive beast after maybe six months after opening but Ojan, i just like it better many people including me smell apple pie in here it's a dry cinnamon uh, cinnamon crumble apple pie with some of the boozy accords mm. But that's all of the resemblance with Angel Share, nothing else. In my eyes, this is way be better than Angel Share by Killian because that this one has honey and dried fruit. I smell apricots or apples, something like that. So it's sweeter, but still has some fresh fresh vibe because of that Perfums de Marly base. And yeah, and the base, I just love this brand. This is to die for. Sweet, ambery, vanilla, even a dash aromatic. And with Angel Share, it's on the contrary. It's really woody, woody base, wooden barrel and vanilla. And that candy um, vibe, with apples actually passes very fast with angel share at least on my skin for many people it's not but uh, with this this is so much better on many other people on many people many many people's skin <sighs> this is so yummy i just remember the angel share it has an overwhelming oak moss uh, and oak wood, absolute. It dominates the composition of for about, I don't know, in, in about 30 minutes, the apple fades away and for two hours persistently, it's super woody. With this, not at all. It's just sweet and amazing. Very low key, universal, delicious, more resinous, chocolatey a little. Yeah, yummy. Number six, you probably heard about it. Amazing fragrance. Baranda by Nasumato. And for me, it is the most accurate boozy fragrance ever with a note of wine. Yeah, it doesn't say the notes for this collection ever. And yes, the resemblance to the, to the wine is in the cap. Um, it looks like a wine cork. And for me, it definitely smells like, I would say, like a sweet dessert wine. Mm. Yeah. At the same time, I get why people perceive it like a mix of fruity rose and whiskey accord instead. My guess, my guess, this is how the Greek god Dionysus could smell like, like wine. <laughs> but better. It's like a perfect, perfected smell of uh, wine and 
overall alcohol, fun, and it has some animalic touches of some rotten fruits and musks. It's an idealized version of that smell. Just watch out, it can turn sour in some skin chemistries. Number five is next. It is Tony Iommi by Zerzhov. This is a massive party animal. Maracuya, sweet, fruity, dessert. I don't know. It, it also has a quart of wine in it. And I also smell the stage smoke machine. I don't think anybody ever said that, but it kind of smells like plastic, like burnt, burnt um, plastic or glycerin from the machine. And it has dirty patchouli in the base and clean oud. I would say that oud in here is on the verge of becoming animalic, but never does that. This smells very expensive, weird, daring, like nothing else. Very interesting. I didn't test the new flanker properly yet that came out just now. Um, that one is also amazing, even more leathery, but I would say I don't think it features the maracuya note and it's not as exotic as this one. I don't know why I smell that smoky smoke machine. <laughs> That's so weird. There's another fragrance that had that uh, feel for me. It's uh, also um, also Nasomato, by the way. It's called um, Phantomas. In this and Phantomas, for me, that have that smoke machine um, accord. I don't know what makes it. It doesn't say in the note breakdown, but this is what I smell. I don't know why. Number four. It is F Fabulous by Tom Ford. Uh, and I'd say this is what it says. A very distinct, leathery, aromatic fragrance. It doesn't smell like anything else. And so even dupes don't compare to this fragrance. Despite the fact that everyone in their neighborhood knows of its existence, this is rarely smelled. Like I, di I didn't smell this on people at all in my life. Uh, I swear, I've never caught a whiff of it anywhere, anytime at random. This is very unique still and very recognizable, very expensive. And it's not that like I can't recognize it because uh, it's uh, as the same as everything. No, I can recognize it off my man and I smell it from him, but I've never smelled it anywhere else. I feel like people know about it, but are scared to overspray to make yourself be present. Yeah, you definitely need to maybe push the trigger more with this one than with any of these. Yes, but you'll be smelled. This is amazing. This is expensive, <laughs> first of all. Number three. Leighton by Parfums de Marly. And Leighton, despite the popularity, also is rarely smelled. Uh, I wouldn't say I've never smelled anything like that on people, but still, um, I don't know. What about that classic Leighton that people love? but it didn't become as popular as everybody thinks, at least on YouTube, on uh, the platforms. I'm not really sure. Yes, it is baked apple and aromatic herbs and lavender. It has that light oud 
The tricky part of it is the weather. It is a winter staple. Winter staple, amazing fragrance. It projects amazingly. The colder it is, the better it projects. Funny thing. Uh, and uh, in warm temperature, it gets quite unrecognizable. But in moderate temperature, if you want to go out in the nightclub at night, it is night, yeah, in a cooler environment, it will be so good still. It will, it will ooze that, that warmth in the air. I almost smell tobacco. I don't remember it has tobacco or not. Maybe a little. I don't know. I thought it's Herod the other day. And I felt so embarrassed because I like this fragrance so much. How could I think it's Herod? I like this better than that. <laughs> this has vanilla. Yeah, some vanilla. Anyways, it's delicious still. Gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance, very universal. And you can still uh, go and have fun with it have a night out with your friends. So much fun. Number two, Intoxicated by Killian. This fragrance is for uh, a club or an intimate date as well. So it's a win-win situation for anything has a bunch of uh, really yummy notes like coffee, cardamom, sweet vanilla, tobacco, nutmeg, that tonka bean. Mm. It, ha it is very upscale like all Killian's. Um, I'd say this is not your fragrance for sweatpants. No, you have to look appropriate to it. You have to be more dressed, a little, a little more sophisticated. Very expensive fragrance and kind of pretentious smell, just like all of the Killian brand. That's why it's only number two, not number one. Otherwise, it could be number one for me. Hmm so aromatic now. I actually smell licorice a little right now. I don't smell it that way usually. Maybe it's just the conditions, the, the environment now. Very different, like not, not the way it, I smelled it the other day. Complex. That means a fragrance is complex because it shows different fa faucets in different situations. And we came to the number one, Boundless by Amouage. Talking about complexity, this is like a lady magnet. Also cinnamon and spice uh, and boozy, but in a very delicate way very sexy and at the same time it's fairly tamed it even better it's even better up close but it's so delicious in the air there is a difference between the fragrance up close like this one is very com complex like all amouages and uh, the sillage that it gives it's like it smelled from everywhere Wow. Wow. I can't imagine a person who would be repulsed by this. Yes, it could be used as a party animal beast, but on the contrary with Sauvage Elixir, for example, nobody is going to tell you, oh, you stink or something like, oh, I can't stand it. Like with, with this one. That is delicious. Thank you for watching this far. Did you press the like button? Are you subscribed? 
Anyways, thank you for your attention. Have fun with your fragrances and um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.